author L.D. Bright here. Um, I research secret spots sprinkled across America in our downtowns, and I have a novel just kind of came out, 2018, called City of City. Now, just like in Denver, I just went down a secret hallway that's to the right of the entrance, just like in, in Denver, the back entrance to their central public library. So I haven't been in Kansas City in a while, but today we're gonna explore on site one of the photos that's in my book is the the vault in the basement of the, 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 the central Kansas City Public Library. They moved here in 2006, I think it was, um, right around that time where um, the government was pressuring local governments to build their own bunkers or do what you got to do and for that reason I think that one of the reasons they chose this location or the supreme reason is that this is supposed to be a vault in case we all know we're on like around the 11th hour on the nuclear clock don't be fooled but um, if we knew for sure for instance that there was an asteroid coming they would use this vault, it's a 35 ton steel door vault to uh, protect whatever Kansas City, um, whether it be, of course we all know that um, the, the Reserve Bank is here, one of the only two or three locations. So um, this building is really special. It dates back to 1920. 1906, I believe, a Grand Jour Bank building. And uh, the vault, I guess, was added in 1906. You see the marble. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. <clears throat> this is one of the secret spots in Kansas City. All right. First, oh, there it is. First, we're going to go. Look, the door, the doors in order to get here is really weird. Look. That looks like an exit, but so we're going to go back up and we're going to go into the marble. This is a uh, high security place as well. Okay. Of course, this isn't supposed to be an important building. You see all the Masonic stuff. You see all the expensive. Uh, it's just incredible. You know, just like the Federal Reserve, just like the uh, Liberty Memorial, uh, just like the huge Masonic building that's here in Kansas City, you see these uh, pharaohs and dragons out front, but yeah, of course this isn't supposed to be some sort of important building or anything. So here's the main entrance, let's go ahead and go into what I call this, this the secret entrance, because look, doesn't say anything entrance at all. Usually it's locked, and this is how you get down to the vault. I think they, did they just lock it on me? No? Okay, let's try this one then. And again, this isn't supposed to be any important building that would house something extremely important. Just like the huge vault that's behind Mount Rushmore that I talk about in my book, City Owed City by L.D. Bright. You can get your own hardback for only uh, about $15. All right, over the internet. Okay, so this is the side secret entrance. And you could see right here, it says safe deposit. But, again, another locked door. So this must have been the old way to get down there. Oh, wow, okay. So let's just go ahead and go into this secret area here. And you see that, I mean, stuff is nice in here, and it's historic. Look at this old mail drop. I mean, that's nice. So, things here in Kansas City, you can see the medieval uh, barricaded window behind me. I mean, this, this is a vault. This is one of America's vaults, so let's go check it out. There's kind of a separate area. 
back here, which kind of separates in a way the vault from the main library, which I think in itself is a little bit weird. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ask the people down there, I'm going to put the camera down, and I'm going to ask them, V for vault, I'm going to ask them, how come there's a secondary vault door? Like, it looks like there's two, let's go ahead and close up on that where it says vault level. Kind of interesting. All right. There it is. So this would house extremely important books. Um, anything that Kansas City is hiding in a doomsday scenario. The door can be closed. That's why you have what you see right there. See how the carpet, see how if they want to, they can yank that stuff up and the door can be closed within, probably within just a matter of a few moments. So this is in the basement of the new central. This vault dates back to 1925. That's a 35 ton steel vault door. I was wondering, what is the second door for? Do you know why, why there's a second vault door over there? Oh, I that, have no idea. They both used uh, to be. Thank you, Does that vault door somehow go into this vault? Um, or was that just... I don't know. Oh, okay. So check out the giant chessboard on the third floor outdoor patio. Get yourself an upscale coffee drink at the coffee bar on the first floor. Or go ahead and check out the third floor reading room, which has a bunch of antique books and a bunch of really nice furniture and polished old wood. So I sure did enjoy my trip to the Kansas City Public Library, the Central Library, a.k.a. The Bunker, if you have read my book. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.